Hey everybody, now it's time for the major super duper sale of stuff. And I hope, uh, <laughs> I will give the prices later, down below or whatever. And uh, must be 18, um, continental US, PayPal only, and under circumstances, I will ship other places only under certain circumstances all right here we go yes we have a shitload and time to start we have this um, uh, self-defense uh, knife knuckle thing uh, I played with it a lot so I mean it's very old so yes a lot of wear and tear blade is still Factory sharp. I only open boxes, papers, whatnot. Comes with a sheath with the uh, um, shoulder harness. As I said, prices later. Next, tops felony with the whistle. Um, carried it once or twice to work, and that's it. Never cut shit with it. Now we got this uh, path. I think it's a pathfinder. United Culture Cutlery um, brand spanking new no box because I didn't know to keep the boxes I was a noob and retarded and shit so there's that you got this uh, Gherky I think I cut a uh, as you can see right there I cut a plastic trash can just got pissed and went at it and <laughs> put a big cut in the trash can yeah, uh, that was funny. Okay, next up. Well, anyways. Yeah, you can see the paint comes off. It's it's Intec. I mean, come on. So, anyways. Next, you got a Condor Bowie. It's uh, sharp on both sides. Um, brand spanking new. I never used it. So, yeah. Next up, another little M Tech dagger, what you would call it. Comes with a sheath. Moving on. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm fast, but, you know, time. And then this thing was one of my first five knives I ever purchased. And, uh, yeah, it's got a little bit of use. Blade's still sharp as hell after. 20 or let's see I got it when I was 12 so you do the math I'm not a math major I'm a knife collector <laughs> but yeah comes with the pouch excellent now you got this Chinese uh, um, wannabe buck thing <laughs> good centering yeah has a back lock okay it comes with a pouch. Next up is a beast. This is the Gerber L H R, made in the U.S. And what's cool about this one is it has a little trigger that you push to take the blade out. And this thing is massive, not cheap, but I will sell it cheap because I'm like that. Okay. Next up, SOG, Fast Talk, Tomahawk. I have two, so I like the um, chrome one better. So there's a black one. That was one of my first purchases. Never used it. Except maybe on a few boxes. Just chopping a few boxes. Let's see here. Eh. No, just a little dusty, that's all. But, yeah. Okay. And that is uh, Smith & Wesson HRT. Bought it. Was supposed to have a badge thing, but I tossed it. Because, yeah, I'm not a cop. So, And then, uh, now we got Tiger Shark Dive Knife. So anybody who likes to go diving, there you go. Got that. Got another M-Tech Dagger. 
Um, extreme, whatever, cheap, you know, MTEC. Okay, here is the uh, K bar. Yeah, uh, forgot what the hell it's called, but you know, some carry around on your belt, whatever. Let's see here. Yeah, it comes with a nice little clip, and I believe it did come with a. Uh, um, no, it just came with that clip. Okay, real nice. I uh, enjoyed carrying that one, and blade is. Immaculous. Moving on, we have the uh, Cold Steel, I guess, clone UWK, because this one's not made. It's uh, made in China, a little dirty. I believe I got this from an estate sale off of eBay, 50 bucks. So, or maybe more than that, I don't know. Okay, moving on, we got this other. Boca Plus dagger and use in the water or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Next up we got a boot knife by United Cutlery. A blade. I swear I never I buy knives and I never carry them. I never use them. I just buy them, open them and put them in a box. Ow. Shit that hurt. Okay, then Self-defense dual dagger by United Cutlery. I carry this a couple times because you know working late at night, you never know. I don't carry a gun, so I just arm myself to the teeth and knives. And we saw that one. Next up is the uh, Klingon uh, United Cutlery uh, Phoenix um, from Star Trek, and that was actually. I think my first fixed blade I ever purchased at a store that no longer exists. Yeah. <laughs> so if, if you guys are collectors, I mean, I never cut anything with it. Still factory sharp. Just dusty. I can clean that up. Yeah. And the pommel. And the sheath is just dusty but I try to keep everything nice and neat. Next up is the Gerber um, I forgot what the hell this one was called Man in the US S30V steel this one was expensive as hell so but it comes with the clip and the case and I'll put the price below in the description everything I'm trying to do this off the uh, top of my head and over here, we have CRKT, uh, don't know exactly what it is. Uh, 360, I don't know, Main Taiwan. Well, it's just uh, from taking it in and out of the sheath, you got wear, but blade is sharp as hell. Then now you got a little... CRKT Sting. Yeah. AG Russell collaboration. Heavy knife. Great. Has the sheath with the bands. Moving on. This is a. I got this off eBay from a seller. It's a Chinese knife. Um, very interesting. It's a Vulcan. 154 cm. I mean, that jimping is just insane. You can attach it to something and it comes with this paracord. Just massive. It comes with a Kydex sheath. Yeah, it's interesting. Now you got this, uh, I took it in and out and it's a Jaguar, I guess, utility knife thrower it's a 440 stainless steel got a belt cutter it's RC belt cutter got um, I guess for screws or um, nuts and bolts and got a can opener 
serrated, jimping. As you can tell, I pulled it in out. The made in China is coming off. All right. Next up, we have a CRKT ABC. Yeah, I decided to sell this. Very polished and pretty and double sided and it comes with all the accessories inside the box. The only thing is the box is a little used up but it came that way. Next is a um, um, Karambit United Cutlery. Um, I had a stainless steel one, gave it to a friend but he got evicted to or kicked back to Mexico so of course that one's gone but I'm gonna sell my black one and uh, yeah then I got this one in uh, uh, North Carolina at um, Walmart it's a Gerber gut hook um, sharp never use it yeah all right now we got the a uh, oh my back hurts Smith & Wesson smithandwesson.com it's a uh, wood handled of black blade tanto fighter got that from a seller whatever <laughs> okay now I got the CRKT um, <sighs> triumph neck this is the one without the paracord so if you like to do paracord, have at it. Sharp, never used, try to carry, but didn't like it. This thing is interesting. It is an avatar. <laughs> uh, and it says December 16th. <laughs> I got this off eBay. I don't know why. But the sheath is kind of neat. Belt clip there, and you can have it like that. Pull it out if you need it. But I guess for you Avatar fans, <laughs> there you go. And next is another neck knife. Uh, one of my early purchases a long time ago. Yeah, just a lot of wear from age. And... I mean, it still works great. Never uh, used the whistle. Didn't see the point. Carried it once, twice. Okay, next we got is a K-Bar Dozer. Oh, I bought this. Uh, never used it. I mean, I got other fixed blades I use. But, you know. And uh, the only thing is... Uh, guess it was from the button or whatever you push the uh, close close it up yeah it's right there you can kind of see the discoloration but it's a tight fit good knife though next is a SOG um, Bowie throwing knife set bought it recently <laughs> don't know why oh I wanted some throwing knives because you know everybody's got throwing knives who cares? But no, I don't need them. They're brand spanking new, very sharp. And then over here, we have uh, the original uh, DPA, um, DPX Hest fixed blade. Comes with a booklet, but no box, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but it is very sharp. As you can see the logo there. No wear on the blade. Don't you love zoom? <laughs> All right. Oh, hope we're doing good on time. Over here is a CRKT uh, camper type thing. Uh, oh, M60. I'm sorry. CRKT M60. Good knife. Got everything with it except the box. Sharp. 
yeah if you like it go for it man all the prices will be I decided to do them lower than what Blade HQ and eBay had maybe like five to ten dollars cheaper so yeah I'm just trying as you can see to <sighs> decrease my inventory because I still have too much inventory all right here's a Condor wooden handled um, Bowie uh, very sharp factory edge um, bought it cases or sheath is perfect and yeah and next up is one of my favorites but I got the bigger one so I decided to finally part with the SOG pup or yeah seal pup elite yeah the only wear the reason for the scratches there is from the kydex sheath taking it in and out in and out in and out you go outside we'll have a smoke and then you come back in and of course late at night two three in the morning you want to kind of take something with you just in case because you know shit happens at night but okay and over here we have the ODA and uh, Cold Steel and I'm guessing it is also a Chinese clone because it does not say made in USA but you know it's still pretty nice as with the UWK I think it's UWK yeah UWK and very they are both very sharp the sheaths are impeccable or they're good so okay now on to the folders you've got a knuckle um, assisted opener got this in uh, Virginia at the mall when I was visiting my brother nephews so yeah now we got a K-Bar Warthog. Uh, decided just to add that one in just now. And next is a, uh, a bear um, assisted opener or bear claw by TAC Force. And this one says National Guard. Doesn't really matter what, I didn't care what it said. I just, it opens fast and quick. And then you got another Chinese assist opener with red uh, digi camo. Got the window opener, seat belt opener or cutter. Then you got another TAC Force um, speed assist. And that's a great one too. And then you got this uh, Karambit um, assist opener. <sighs> Sorry only used once or carried once or twice okay now I know y'all been seeing this one this is a clone it is a clone a clone a clone not real but I am going to probably sell this one for like what 50 bucks it's a fulcrum 2 Ugh. yeah after I found out from uh, trading all those knives to Vance that they were clones I had no freaking clue of course I didn't know that the this thing was supposed to lock huh see that's how much ignorance I had back then after watching all these videos I've learned my lesson and when it means three hundred dollars, it's the real thing, not eighty or fifty. So, anyone who wants that, it comes with the box. It's got the little Allen wrench in there. Yeah, I just don't want it. See, they're gonna just give it away as a freebie or whatever. But if you guys want it, it's yours, fifty bucks straight up. All right, moving on. We got this Smith and Wesson. 
cheap folder. We have the uh, SOG Auto. Let me see. Let me come over here. Uh, auto Clip. And what's cool about this one is you can adjust your however, wherever you want the uh, thumb stud. But it's a, I carry this once or twice. Still very sharp. Nice. Now you got the cryo. I carried this, what, yesterday. I was going to show it to somebody, but they left before I had the chance. Great centering. Opens quickly. Great. Next up is the uh, um, Sprite Airco Tenacious Partial Serrated. I may have carried this a couple times, maybe. But, you know, just dirty from age and being locked up in a box. Oh, that is way off. Well, that's how I bought it. I'm sure whoever buys it can take it, care, take it apart, fix it, send it off to Jeff or Crowdy and have them fix it and pimp it. Next up is a uh, Shrade Extreme Survival button lock, not auto. Has a lock here too. I carry this a couple times. You can see the little blotches and pocket clip wear, and but yeah, it's still stiff, sort of. But you know. It is what it is. Next up, uh, the Black Ops Smith & Wesson Spring Assisted with the 4, 4, what is it? 4034 steel. Ouch. A little off, but you know, comes out with authority. And next up is a Smith & Wesson Black Ops um, yeah good centering authority spring assisted got your thing there moving on I'm parched you got an MMP uh, this one is let's see here SWMP 4LS yeah it's a little dusty <laughs> but whenever anybody who buys these I will clean them up before I ship them yep yeah. and here's another one and this one is SWMP 5LS, the next generation. As you can see, that lock there, just the blade shape is neat, centering, comes out with major authority. And I threw this one in just now. It's the uh, Crawford Casper by CRKT. Good, you know, somewhat decent centering not left-handed so but yeah and you got the lock there's that one now you got I bought this out of town I, I carried it I think I was in high school <laughs> I carried it <laughs> got the little lock lock up Wow, after all these years, <laughs> who would have known? Well, I never took it apart, so, but it still comes out with great authority. Got a little tiny pocket clip. Yeah, this one's been really used, but a little bit of blade play, but I'm not going to try it. 
Well, it's still somewhat sharp. That'll be a cheap one. Okay, next up is um, two ballet songs. This one was one of the first five. Play with it a lot. I suck. And then I bought that black one. It's cheap. 